Hey everybody, it's Linda Schulte. I'm here doing a virtual uh, Facebook Live, doing a virtual open house. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, add on some people. I'm gonna show you this, um, this really cool place. It's a modular home in Castleberry. So if you guys could just start adding on a few people. I'm not seeing any, but where's all my people? Where's all my people? Where's all my people? Is anybody, there's somebody, there's Brian. Hey man, just invite, invite a few people on. Then we're gonna get started to show off this awesome home. So I'm just gonna spin around here. It's gonna be a little bit wobbly, I guess. So. Um, all right, so here we go. Gonna start walking around to show off the house. Oh, before I get started, I wanna point out something here. That's hand sanitizer. That's from my good friends over at Made to Be Green Housekeeping. Uh, they made that for me, it's a hand sanitizer. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna pan around in the living room. These are like wood or faux wood flooring in here. Here's the front door. And um, hey everybody, thanks for joining in. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start here from the front door. So we're in Castleberry, we're at 1410 Hilltop Road. This is on the MLS, it's considered a manufactured home, but it's a modular home. So a modular home, I know people have a little bit of, a, don't really know what that means. So a modular home is somewhere between um, a mobile home and a single family home. So it's not a it's not a manu, it's not a manufactured home or a mobile home, but it's sure it's not a, fa a single family residence either. Um, here we go. We're gonna go into the master bedroom now. So check this out. Fans are working great. So um, so this place. I know people are always worried about what we do as realtors that we're out in the public, and I really appreciate you worrying about us. I am actually in a home that's vacant. We just had it sanitized. So it's going to be nice and clean. Um, of course, we'll always ask everybody. This is the master um, bathroom, by the way, everybody. So it's got the double sinks. So anybody that comes, hey, everybody, see me? Oh, by the way, do you see my new glasses? Here, let me give you, let me give you a nice little shot of my glasses. Here's my sunglasses. Does everybody like my sunglasses? Wait until you see the new ones I just got on uh, Amazon. I'll be showing those off probably tonight. All right, now back to the show. Double sinks, garden tub. I know someone's going to ask me, does it have jets in it? No jets. There's only Benny in the jets. All right, this is the closet. This is the master closet. You guys got to take a look at this. This is huge. This is huge. It is just tremendous. It's tremendous. Yes, Donnie, it's a good idea to have things sanitized. I'm not saying that anybody was, um, you know, had anything going on, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So we got a step-in shower here. It's got the handles on there still, too. Um, it has a water closet, which is the toilet room. So you can shut the door. Here, I'm going to not touch it. So you can shut the door. You have your privacy. Okay, I want you guys to take this in. This is... This is the master. Hey, April, I appreciate your hand sanitizers from Made to Be Green. This is the master bathroom. Check it out. Check it out. And then we're out here. This is the master bedroom. So, who? where do you want to see next? So I can go back into the living room. Um, so, again, this is the living room. This is built-in shelving. That's going to stay. So what happened to my music, man? Can't do this without music. Um, maybe we will. <laughs> Let's see here. All right. Oh, well. Okay, so now um, back in the living room. Again, that's the front door. Sorry, we didn't open up the blinds. There's my tripod. And... I want you guys to stay on because you've got to see this kitchen. The kitchen's amazing. 
Um, all right, this is one of the bedrooms. So this is a three bedroom, two bath. It's just under 2,000 square feet, just slightly under, just slightly under. I tried to get them to give me a couple more feet and they said no. Um, here's a walk-in closet. Let's see, let's see if there's a light in here. No, no light. Okay. But it's a nice size closet. It's got high ceilings. It's got crown molding in here too. So again, guys, this is a modular home. It's considered a manufactured home by MLS standards, property appraisers, but it is truly a single family home. It sits on stem walls. It does have a crawl space underneath it. And I'm gonna take you over here so you can see the shower. So it's got a shower, it's got a tub. And this is the guest bathroom. So like I said, it's a three um, bedroom, two bath home. Here's the other bedroom. So here we're gonna walk in here so you can see everything. Now remember, I told you about this, this has crown molding throughout. So this is really an upgraded uh, home. You wait until you guys get, when we get into the kitchen, you're gonna freak out. This is a nice kitchen. So, so thanks Suzette. Yeah, it is a really nice house. So, hey, uh, Darby McDonald, are you, um, are you still on here? <laughs> and again, here's another walk-in closet. And I just have to show that, it's crown molding throughout and high ceilings. You don't see this, this is unusual type of a home. Um, also, here's the laundry room. The washer and dryer do stay. The AC is about nine months old. So the AC was just put in. So it's about nine months old, which is great. So giving huge props to the seller for that. That door leads to the backyard. There's a set of steps back there. It's got a slop sink in here. And here we go. Are you guys ready for the kitchen? Are you ready for the kitchen? Here we go. Check that out. <laughs> is that amazing? It is incredible. Now, um, this is a, this would be considered the dining area. Now, if I were buying this place, I would take those doors. I would turn them into a, a French door. I would put back there um, a deck through it all the way across. Right now, there's just a little deck over there. That would be super cool. Um, but look at this kitchen, everybody. It's a huge uh, island, and it's got the thing I want so much in the house I buy next is the sink that's in the center. I think they call that a, a, a vegetable. I think they call that a vegetable sink or something like that. But uh, it's got the oven. This was, I believe this was supposed to be a closet originally. And when they put it together, they modified it and turned it into uh, an oven. That's the microwave. That's the oven. And we've got, um, this is, uh, this has exhaust up here too. So you just turn on this button here. And you got the exhaust here. So when you're cooking and you're burning some stuff, it'll be on there. Uh, you can get all the smoke out of the house. Uh, check this out here. All this cabinet space. All this cabinet space. So this is, um, remember we came in from over there. That was the dining room over there. And here is the island in the center. So this is a great house to really have some nice parties at. Um, <laughs> yeah, I could mix up some nice beverages in here. In fact, it's funny, I was actually considering doing that, coming here and like making some drinks, but uh, that would cause me to transport my entire, you know, bar. And it's pretty extensive if anybody's seen it. Now, this is the family room. So the, that's a mount over there for your TV. Um, we've got, oh, the flooring um, has been replaced in here. And it's got the faux wood uh, laminate flooring in, in here as well. And this is a fireplace, folks. This is a wood-burning fireplace. Check it out. You can sit here on those cold Florida days. It's not so cold today, is it? Um, let's see here. Look up here again. I, I, this is one of the things that impresses me is that there's crown molding throughout the home. Um, we have this house under contract and unfortunately due to what's going on with uh, uh, in Central Florida throughout the country, throughout the world, 
Um, the person who was buying it, they actually got furloughed just before we were able to close. So the good news is it appraised on FHA, so it's ready to rock and roll for an FHA buyer. It'll be good for a VA buyer too, conventional as well. Uh, we've already had it inspected twice, so it's in great shape. Um, yeah, I love that fireplace too, it's pretty cool. Um, so, oh, the price, is, the price on this is 182. 182. So, you know, I've had some people say comments that, oh, that's too much of a price, that's too high of a price. But I went back and I was looking at some things that, you know, again, mobile homes are going to be priced much less than other homes. A single family home like this in Castleberry, with this level, you're going to be talking 280, 300. We have it listed for 182. It's just under 2,000 square feet. And I know some of you just joined, so I'm just going to do a real quick walk through from the front door again. And so here we are from the front door. Walk in. Here is the living room. We'll go ahead and pan around. So hopefully you guys are uh, doing well out there and making it through all your quarantine. I notice there's a lot of people out exercising, so that's pretty cool. Walking dogs, see more neighbors talking to each other. It's really cool. So keep up. Uh, oh, please wash your hands, guys. <laughs> um, all right, we're walking into the master bedroom again. So I'm going to go ahead and pan up a little bit. This is nice that it's got double doors that go into the master bathroom. Yeah, the floors are nice, aren't they? They're um, laminate. They're faux wood. And then here we're going to walk into the master bathroom here. So see, there's the double doors. And then you have to, just have to, if you haven't seen it already, hang out because you're going to get to see the master closet. So first we're going to pan around here so you can see everything. You're going to say hi to me. Yes, those are my glasses. Hi. Love my new glasses. Well, these are old glasses. I've had these for a while. Those aren't the new ones. Okay, good. Yeah, module. it's modular. And one of the things that to realize, too, is that this is drywall. This is like what you would see in a house. So it's not that flimsy wood that you would see in most uh, uh, mobile homes. So this, again, is a modular home. Um, it's been appraised by FHA, and it qualifies uh, as a single-family home on the appraisal. And we've done two inspections on it. The house is in great shape. AC is new, like less than a year old. The square footage is just under 2000. I think it's 1997 or something like that, 1996. It has a garden tub. It does not have the jets. I know a lot of people were asking about that before. But it's a nice, spacious uh, garden tub. And um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I want to make sure I point out the cabinetry, too. Because this is the cabinetry throughout the... Uh, the house. So here we go. And then you got a little space here. You can sit down. It even has the chair left. So you can sit here and do your makeup in the mornings. I know, I know that closet is incredible. Um, there's a separate uh, uh, toilet room in here too, which is nice. You can go do your, do your stuff with the door shut and not bother anybody. <laughs> um, let me go back and show that closet one more time because I know someone's posting about how wonderful it is. Just look at this. This is amazing. Oh, and I forgot. There's this over here, too. This is incredible. This is crazy. All right. So there's lots of space. I guess you could sit on this, put your shoes on. All right, here again, we're going to go back to the master. I'm going to take you all the way through the home again. I apologize that it's all bouncy because uh, I don't have my... Uh, whatever that thing is that holds it steady. I didn't bring it with me today. Oh, yeah. Um, the home will qualify for FHA and VA. So it's a good question. And we already, just like I said before, it actually has already been approved uh, as a, uh, under appraisal. We've already been through it with an FHA. And that's good for, I think they said six months. So we wouldn't have to wait on an appraisal. We can hurry up and close you. You know, some people are asking what's going on with the market. Um, are people really still buying homes? 
I was just on the phone with one of the, this is one of the bedrooms, um, and um, qualify? I don't know. Uh, Andrea, ask that question again. I missed it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's FHA and VA. It will be qualified for that. It's able to do that. Um, this is one of the bedrooms. It's got a walk-in closet. Well, sort of. I can walk in here. So come here, Paul. All right, and we're going to come out here, and master, or sorry, guest bathroom is over here. This is really a nice size, too. Check this out. Yeah, Carrie, it's a nice house. Um, if you've got anybody interested, it's listed for $182,000. And as I was mentioning, look at the crown molding. Cr crown molding everywhere in here. This is amazing. Um... Single family homes in this area, this size, this quality, this many bedrooms in Castleberry, you're looking at 280 and above. This is $182,000. The land um, is owned by the property, so it's an actually being sold as a single family home. Um, the neighborhood, <laughs> you want to know the name of the neighborhood? It's uh, Duck Pond something or other. We're on Hilltop Road, 1410 Hilltop Road. So here's the laundry room. The washer and dryer are staying. Um, that's actually a full bathroom over there, Christy. It's a it's full two full bathrooms. You got the slop sink in here. You got the nice cabinetry. Here's the water heater. I know this is this is like the favorite feature of every house, right, guys? Oh no, not really. What's real important though is your air conditioner. Air conditioner is less than a year old. I believe it is nine months old. That's that's a killer option, I'll tell you. And, all right, remember I said they were going to go into the kitchen. The kitchen's amazing. So here, um, that was where we came out of. That's the master um, bedroom through there. That was the main living room. And then, here we go. This is the dining area. Dining area, and look at that kitchen! Whoa! Could you imagine cooking in here? I I I would just have a blast having parties and <laughs> having parties, making up some cocktails. <laughs> Man, I cannot wait until we all can get back together. Y'all know this is killing me. I'm here all by my lonesome. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are out there. Um, thank you. So yeah, it is a really nice house. Modular home. It's a uh, Scott built. It is not a mobile home. It doesn't have vehicle IDs on it. I know that's a question people are always asking. It is um, sits on a uh, stem wall. There is a crawl space underneath it. Look at these floors. This is nice. So I'm gonna do. This is the uh, family room kitchen combo. So here we go. Yeah, Val, isn't that a nice kitchen? I mean, it's incredible. But look at this. This is something you don't find very often in these homes. It's a fireplace. It's a wood, a real wood-burning fireplace. And as I kept mentioning before, we got the crown molding. You know, imagine this. Look at this little spot here. You can hang your stockings at Christmas time. Yay! And crown molding up there. So um, hopefully you guys are inviting a few people. Um, to be on here. Um, oh, so yeah, Tara, there is no there is no mobile home uh, titles to retire. That is correct. And I think you know that because you're the title person on this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Castleberry. It is I, it's um, on it's Duck Pond, I believe is the name of the. Uh, subdivision but it's not really a subdivision this is a regular neighborhood it's not a trailer park um, and actually um, a history has been in here that they only had manufactured homes they only had mobile homes back in here but they're now beginning to build single family homes in here so the value is just going to go up and up and up so here's the laundry room hey, is there any room you guys think I should go back through real quick before I um and this um, open house. So, <laughs> you're welcome, Tara. You guys do a good job over there at Venture Title for me. 
Um, oh, did I point out? Yeah, the cabinet. Let me go. Let me go back in the kitchen. Yes, everybody. This is the beautiful kitchen. I love it. I love it. I, oh, yeah, uh, uh, Carrie. So this is what's cool. So from here, so that little rack over there, he actually had an 80-inch TV up there. And it was a wraparound um, sofa sectional over there. It was great. So you could sit here and have an incredible party. Um, I told you that this is where the stove is, uh, the, the microwave, and then the oven. That used, was originally supposed to be a closet. But if you look at all this storage, you've got plenty of storage plenty of storage in here so this would be an incredible place to have a huge party and guys I am so ready um, with two full bathrooms three bedrooms a laundry room just under 2,000 square feet the um, it's on a nice size lot I think it's a 66 hundred six thousand six hundred square foot which is like a 0.15 acre so it's a nice size um, here's the bathroom again the bedroom number three and bedroom number two and a living room built-in cabinets and let's just pan around we're gonna go up and down this is a lot of fun doing these Facebook Lives, everybody. So tonight, um, I'm probably going to do a Facebook Live tonight. I'm going to make up some, some cocktails tonight, I think. Yeah, crown molding is super nice. So check back in with me. I'll be, I'll be coming live from my kitchen. I don't know what time. Usually about 9 o'clock I go on and do that. Um, so let's go back one more time because these this are the incredible things. The kitchen and the master is like awesome in this place. Um... Yeah, it was really nice to have all that crown molding. A virtual happy hour. Woo woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, and walk in shower. And here's the closet again. So, all right. Okay, everybody. I really appreciate you guys um, being on here with me. Please share this once we end it. Um, please share. Uh, this is my information. If you need to get a hold of me, if you're a realtor, please let me know. If you've got some buyers, we're going to have the house set up with um, soap and paper towels and hand sanitizer, uh, things like that. Just got to keep ourselves safe. And on that note, let me see. Let's turn this around so you guys can see my glasses. These are my crazy sunglasses, and there's going to be more crazy sunglasses to come soon. So I just wanted to thank everybody. Uh, for being here, and remember, I'm going to turn you back around, remember, Schulte Realty, we cover Florida like the sunshine, give me a call, bye everybody, stay safe, stay home.